Wicked Edge or regular Grounded Edge? And as opposed to what? No, like Wicked oh, Edge. Like which which one do you prefer? I guess. I guess that's what the question is. What do you mean a Grounded Edge? Like like from the Maker. You know, oh. Edge oh. Well, I think it's the Maker. Depends I, I, on the, the I, I, I would have to exactly. agree with Bob. Some makers don't know how to sharpen very well. Yeah. Well, that's true. It depends on the maker. But then I heard things like on the Wicked Edge that sometimes the Wicked Edge takes off a lot of steel. Wicked then, Edge takes off a lot of steel, and if you go real uh, polished with it... It's do you have one with a Wicked top. Edge? This is Wicked Edge. Okay. Paul Topka just did this one for me because it was pretty dull. And this is Wicked Edge. I, this, I bought this with a Wicked Edge on it. I like a toothier edge. You know, on the Wicked Edge, you can only go up so high with it. So you don't go for like that high polish like, like, like this or like Brian does? Polish, I love the way I, this looks. I like the, uh, the edge better on like, you know, 600 grit, 800, whatever. Once you start getting into well, like I, 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 I would have to say from a collector point of view, I love the Wicked Edge. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. I love the yeah, way it looks. Because like I'm not really going to, I'm not a big heavy user. My user knives are crap. I don't care about them. I don't have, oh, I have my Grimsaw's Wicked Edge. That's about it. But uh, I, I would I would love a Wicked Edge. Wicked Edge for TV? What does it do? Like, it's got more well, micro serrations. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's smoother. It's it's smoother. smoother. Yeah. I think it's smoother. Well, it depends where you take it to. If you take it exactly. to the ceramic and everything else, yeah. Yeah, once you get into the I mean, Paul puts a really so, so mirrored smooth. Yeah. Edge. He does a good job. It's beautiful. I do my Wicked Edge up it's to like wicked. 600 or 800 yeah. stone. It's nice. Yeah. But once I go higher into ceramics, it's almost too small. Like Brian and uh, like Fast that. Bandit and uh, Joe Bananas does a really good job on the Wicked <laughs> Edge. razor sharp, too. Oh, my God. That's right. Mm. He brings out that is Mr. Thing. Wicked Edge. I thought you saw the one I did too. But it took way too long. It's like eight hours into that. Yeah, I'll apparently it takes long. I didn't realize. Me neither. I'll never do it again. I think it's a grinder. I'll just send it to Joe Bananas. <laughs> Could you do that on a grinder? Could you get it like that on a grinder? This is a this is on a grinder. Close isn't it? to it. That's pretty darn sharp. Where's, where's Jake's knife? Jake's is right here. close to it. That's Jake just grinding. That's sharpest. Yeah, he does a nice job. I'll tell you what I don't like is a knife that you get when it's dull. <laughs> yeah. You get it from the maker dull. Yeah. yeah. It's annoying. Yeah. I've got one. I'm not going to say which one, but it's dull. Ow. That hurt me. You're still laughing about the laugh. I don't. I, I can I read Lee laughing. like a book. Yeah. I can read Lee like a book. All right. What's the next topic? Yeah. Uh, what knife should a person start collecting with? I mean, well, again, well depends what, on the person. What what are we talking about? Like uh, any kind of knife, like I production, think, think custom, yeah. mid tech. What are you looking to collect? That's true. Are you looking to collect, you know, stellite with, you know, carbon fiber inlay and titanium and zirconium pocket clip stuff? That's a tough question to answer because I think it depends on the you know, person. Or are you more interested? In and just collecting a massive production. I started dollars. collecting spider coats. Well, cheap. 70, 80 bucks. Yeah, but at the time, <laughs> 70, 80 bucks spider coats, I was like, man, that's too expensive sure. for a knife. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. I couldn't right. believe I was spending. When I bought my first paramilitary, too, it was like $150. Yeah, we all went through the right? Yeah. Out of my mind. I think we do. You yeah. know? It was, just, it was crazy. Here the tech, though. I'm like, I'm not dropping. What was that? How much was it? 250, I think. Two, the tech I'm was. not dropping 200 on a knife like <laughs> that. Yeah, I think you go through, and then you get into customs, and then you get way too many customs. Yeah. Yeah. And then, customs are me, I just yeah, sold my right your collection. Yeah. All right. So. That was the worst thing, biggest mistake I ever made is putting all my customs in an Excel spreadsheet, and then doing a sum all. Total. I'm doing that now. Oh, that's that, that makes <laughs> yeah, me nauseous. That's, that's when we all really more than my house. house. So you <laughs> well, you're doing you're putting on a spreadsheet. I'm putting on a spreadsheet. And then you're putting how much you paid? I have, how much I paid? How much? Oh, that's scary. On this, on the that's that would scare I me. did that. Man. Oh, the ones I don't want to know. Sold, how much money I've made off of those in correlation to how much money I've lost in other ones. Oh wow! Oh, I, I, I don't even want to know. That's what I did, and I got not. That's why I got to buy. I gotta actually buy a house. Yeah. Right. Right. Alrighty, so uh, do we have any favorite blade shapes? Any preferences? You know what my favorite blade shape is? Tanto, not Tanto. 
<laughs> Lee? Uh, my ins, no, my Insingo is a... Is a Warncliffe? No, yeah, it's, what is that, I guess? <laughs> is it, it Warncliffe? I a thought it was like, uh, well, maybe it's a sheep. This here? Yeah. What's an Insingo considered? An Insignia? Yeah. I would say that's a sheep foot. I'm into it. I like that blade shape a lot. But no, I know. My normal preference is like a clip point. You like a clip point? A yeah. clip point? Yeah. Basically. No, not your. <laughs> that one's big. What's your favorite <laughs> shape, Bob? Hmm. Or do you have a favorite? Spear point. I don't know if I have a favorite. If you could only have one blade shape, which would it be? Hmm. I asked a tough question. Probably a Tonto. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I said, yeah, that's right. Right. <laughs> Morgan Fairchild. <laughs> Although this is, this is my favorite blade shape aesthetically, looks wise. That one. What's that? A recurve, would you call that? Yeah. yeah. So that's my favorite. Point. Yeah, that's a recurve drop point. Look, I hear, I hear a lot of people don't like that because they don't like sharpening a recurve. That's yeah. more difficult to sharpen. Just send it to somebody. That's what I do too. That's what I would. That's what we have the engineer for that's, and was, the bandit. I was gonna buy a wicked edge. And I said, oh, I could set it. We to got the bandit for that. Yeah. Thank God for friends. Yeah, no kidding. Nick, what's your? You didn't answer. This is my yeah, first hand. Uh, uh, what's your favorite bleach? I prefer. I prefer uh, drop point. You see how clumsy I am. Drop point tantos. Yeah, I like that combo. Drop, what do you have? Do you have a drop point tanto here? Like oh. this? No, like that's a tanto. Uh, that's a drop point. Sure, point, sure. Um, sure. I don't know, show that on camera. Like my stub. <laughs> Your stub, okay. Alright. There you go. Of course your favorite is so a people Tonto. Like, That's not a drop point. Where's well, a Tonto? And when I drop it, <laughs> it'll be pointing. <laughs> where's your where's that one? So Lee thinks oh, this. Now, this is cool. This is, well, drop point Tonto. That was weak, huh? I like that blade shape. What do you call that? Spear point? Spear point? Yeah, close to it. Yep. You would? Mm-hmm. That's not cool one. But you know these are really hard to find since Brian has all of them. <laughs> Serious, <laughs> you ain't kidding. <laughs> 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 Talk about be done. Oh man, we Brian. know where they all are. Yeah, we know where they all are. <laughs> that was a good one. I, I like that, that question. Yeah, that was a good one. Alrighty. Um, uh, Go for it. Just hype, say it. Hype, hype versus quality. Oh, oh, they're talking about a. Uh -oh. Is there a knife out there that's more hype than quality? I don't know if I want, I don't know. Guess, uh, you might have to turn the camera off so I can see yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're all about to start yelling and shit. Yeah, have we experienced uh, knives that were more hype and really disappointed when we got it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely, of Absolutely. course. Of course, uh, we don't want to kill people, but it happens. Yeah. It happens. I want to kill people. <laughs> and I think it's, you know what, sometimes He didn't happens. laugh at all when he said that, I'm scared. <laughs> no, because sometimes it's habitual. You know, sometimes no matter, like, you can order 10 of them and they're all shit. And you're like, oh, what the hell? And you, you, you believe everybody else that they all had good experience. You think Instagram um, which is us, partly to blame or YouTubers which, partly to blame? Which leads us to another question. I think fanboys are partly to blame. Cause there's oh, I know you hate, I know you hate the fanboys. I agree. Why don't you uh, talk about that more? People. Well, some people can do no that's wrong. That's part of it, right? People's eyes, but it's not well, no, that's, the, you know, that's the question I came up with. Yesterday. What was your question? Oh, right, right. Say it again, Nick. Um, is it naive for me to think that there's more pretentious people in the knife community than there is in the entire world? <laughs> like, why is it specifically in the knife no, community? No, it's in every collecting, yeah, it's I, any, think. Any I think. it's in any hobbyist community. I think it's any hobbyist kind of community. Yeah. I, so this is the only hobbyist community I've ever been in, but from what I can tell, it's, I've been in it's anywhere. You're always... Yeah. I think the knife community is just like a sip of the coffee. Yeah, it's the same. So, I was a car guy for a long, long time, and you know, it was the same thing. How how rare is the part that you have? Yeah, how yeah. expensive? How many other people can go get it? You know? Yeah. I used to brag about that I had one of three steering wheels in the country. That was like my my car's big claim to fame. Like, find another one of these. This is the only one, or one of three. First one to be imported. So, and that it got me clout. It's the same thing with knives. Well, what. You th oh, shoot. I don't know. Should we name somebody that we know was all hype and then when people got their knives, they were yeah, like, This man is not even here. Will you leave him alone? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say there's some people out there that were definitely hyped up on YouTube and when people got their their orders from it, it fell apart. And, uh, I think it happens, it happens a lot. There's more than one. And people. this particular person cr actually criticized Ramon's knife. Yeah. So we know who. Oh, all right. Oh. Lunar. 
<laughs> I love your stealth mention. Yeah, so I know personally that club music. we actually know somebody that waited a long time for his particular order, and then when he got it, the D10 ball fell out. It, it wasn't waiting for the order, it was waiting for it to be repaired. He no, already got it. He sent it back for repairs. And he waited that long. No, no, I think he got it back pretty quick. But come on, dude. You're, you're waiting a year for a knife, and then you're flipping it, the D10 ball falls out. I'm show you Oh, hello. What are you showing? Hello. hello. Oh, wow. Let me, let me uh, you did get big. Wow. Is he playing right. football this year? How old is he? He just turned 11. Well, Check this 12. out, Donna. Look at this. <laughs> this kid's 12. The kid that made that knife is 12. And we were just telling Lucy that your son wants to make knives. I mean, your grandson. Hey, Donna, really? Yeah. yeah. Ben. 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 That would be a good one to get on. Let's get Ben on the phone. This is really cool. <laughs> get him. Holy shit. 12 years old. Isn't that amazing? You know what I was doing at 12 years old? <laughs> Don't <laughs> tell us. Don't <laughs> tell us, Lee. <laughs> exactly. But it was in the tub. <laughs> Bobby lying. <laughs> yeah, sure. This is what we did for his birthday. You know what I was yeah. doing for my 12 year old birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Ma, we ran out of lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Never give. Never give. So Bob Just is calling it. Ben. Oh yeah, you can't Where's see me. You can't <laughs> see me. I'm at the shuffle. I'm at some guys. Ben. Oh yeah. Hey, do you watch uh, Wieners and Steel? They gave us tickets, right? This is where we're on YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube. <laughs> okay, well, I'm here now with the guys. Good answer, <laughs> Good answer Ben. Good answer. And we're, we're showing your knife here on camera right now. I want a picture of this knife. Oh, yeah? Yep. No one, no one can believe that you're 12. When do you turn 13? Wow. October 22nd. October? Oh, that's right around the corner. Second. Send Ben a present. Hey, Ben, this is Mike. I'm checking out your flipper here, and we're actually showing it to uh, uh, Donna. I don't know if you follow Weenus of Steel. Donna's a regular uh, guest on the show, and uh, she was so impressed. I'm, we're all impressed Very with impressed. the way you made this flipper. Amazing work, kid. See, I, I always shut so, him up. <laughs> so, yep, yep, now you are, you are world famous in the Weeners and Steel. Oh, he has a big following on I Instagram. Can I see this for a minute? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, Donna's going to check out my, your... I want to show my husband. Uh, Donna's, yeah, gonna, absolutely. Donna's stealing my knife. No, no, no. no. <laughs> ben. I promise I will be back. Can that oh, yeah, she on. says, or I can use that big one on. Ah. All right, Ben. Take care, buddy. All right, you have to do Look for the next episode. Bye, buddy. How oh, cool, man. Right. Dang, he sounds like a baby. He's like a little kid. Oh my Bro, god, that's so cool. Years old. But it sounds well, he's a so nice kid. He uh, is. His packaging came in a nice hard case awesome. and everything out. It was great. The full packaging, field. yeah. Really? That's awesome. That's nice. That's one that they should ask. Come on, a knife shouldn't come in. Oh yeah, yeah, packaging the presentation. Uh, it's just crazy yeah. sometimes. You should see how my knives are going to be packaged. What? You know what? I don't really care for like a big uh, pelican case. Well, don't get a big pelican you know, case. A but box. I, but but I've received knives from custom knife makers. Wrapped. Thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollar knives wrapped in paper towels. Yeah. And loose in a box, no padding or anything. That's ridiculous in a you know postal service box. Yeah. Yeah. I think presentation is important. Yeah. You spend, you know, thousand dollars, even five hundred bucks. I think presentation is important. Yeah, how hard is it to uh, make a box. case or whatever? Yeah. You know, it's not. I just want a box. I want a well, box. Put packages, secured put well. Put enough packages. You know why? Because I have a collection of these little pelican kit. I don't know what to do with them. I want to yeah. get rid of them. It's like, I, I like it. I like the effort, but you know, I'm kind of tired. I want a box. Give me a paper, cardboard box, wrapped it nice, secure, so I can throw that shit out. That, but that's me. You're gonna love my package. Perfect. Uh, my boy really loves my package. <laughs> <laughs> I love your sneakers. <laughs> anyway, so again, that that's I guess that's that's that preference. Question. That's preference. Mm. Uh, we have a gentleman asking about heat treating with cryo. That's gonna be and you. That's, I'd like that's to all you. That to the wind engineer. I concur. Well, I, I you know most of my knives are not. I don't, I don't think they're cryo-treated. Um, Bob, have you had any knives that were... You know for a fact they were cryo-treated. Uh, yeah. Heat tree. 
Uh, you know. what, wait, time out. I, I guess, I'm sorry, I'm retarded, but what is cryo heat treating? Uh, it's. Go ahead. No, you go. You're the engineer. <laughs> it's real hot and then it's real cold. And it's real hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh? So, Buck, this is like Buck Rogers shit. Well, no, when, you, when you're. What's, what is it? When you're heat treating, you put it in. And then you freeze it really quick? Well, when you take it out, you're supposed to lower the temperature as quick as possible. Right. But Johnny left. Oh, your husband? No, my husband's sitting out there on my door. Oh, yeah. John Donna is a knife connoisseur. Nice call. That's cool, too. That's an L. Marshall. Very nice guy. Um, Boston, is he? Right? Hmm? Boston? L. Marshall? Where's he live? I don't know where L. Marshall Somewhere up there, I think. He, in a, he has a house. He's a YouTuber. Is your son who made it? No, ma'am. No, no. Not he's an Instagrammer. He's a YouTuber. It's just a young man out in California. It's a 12 year old kid. Mm. Crazy. So now when you say he made it, he made the whole, I mean. Yeah, the whole, whole thing. thing. Everything that you yep. see, he made other than the screws. Really? The screws and these thumb discs, these uh -huh. thumb studs are bought. But other, all this gray, all this black, uh -huh. this whole thing. The different textures on there, he did it all, yeah. He did this. Wow. He made this cut in here, all, the, all of it. That's amazing that a kid Everything but the screws. And little things, see that little marble that's in there? It's called uh -huh. a D10 ball. That's an HRD. Yeah, that's an HRD D D10 ball, Hoback, as a matter of fact. Hoback, rolling so it's D10. adjustable, there's knife makers. This is still a pretty new technology in the knife world. Wow. But the guy that invented that, he gives it out free to the knife makers as long mm. as they give him credit. So this kid's taking advantage of new technology and everything. No. He's no, he's made a few. Oh. Yep. It's impressive. Very nice. Definitely impressive. You're not kidding. Little kid. Did I tell you what I was doing when I was 12? <laughs> <laughs> Especially. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Really, it's, it's impressive. And you're still doing it. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Touche. She got me with Bob's joke. <laughs> <laughs> Did we answer the heat treat? Uh, I still don't know. That's a tough one. Right, For right, me, because right. I don't know what uh, I'm, I'm not smart enough. Sad, I'm tired. Know. I don't know what it means. Next time. Yeah, what's the next question? Judging by name, it sounds hot and then it sounds cold here. Then it sounds hot again. Yeah. Why are we interested in knives? Why do we love them like we do? I love tools. All tools. Why are you uh, calling Brian that? <laughs> Because most people in the world uh, are obsessed and they think it's weird or something like that. What? I don't know. I don't know why I'm, I, I, I don't know why I, I love that. I, I kind of just wrote down what he wrote. And yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know why. Oh, because most what? people in the world think that our obsession is really weird. I think they're used yeah, I think they just don't understand it. Like, I don't understand soccer. I just don't get it. <laughs> but people love it. Do you guys like soccer? No, but I, I don't get badminton. Right. But there's people. Like, exactly. High lie. Totally don't get it. Uh, what's that? What's that one with the, the high lie is cool? The, with the, with the oh, uh, on the ice. Yeah. Hockey? No. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, oh. Dusting, sweeping. What the hell is that called? Hell uh, that? Shuffleboard kind of stuff. Noodling? No. Noodling is curling. 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 And you was, uh, I do not understand curling. Just me either. But when you watch, it's interesting. Yeah. Because yeah, they're screaming at each other. You're like, ah! I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna You know what? I feel like there's something very old fashioned about carrying a pocket knife. My grandparents did, my grandfather. Everybody always had a pocket knife. It's just a man thing to do, right? Yeah, it's just kind of a guy thing. Right. Well, like, yeah, but there's a lot of great women in knives, too. Yeah. yeah absolutely. I never do That's that. a thing, you know, like could have been. I can't think of anybody. What, girls in the knife community? That make knives. Marissa Strider. Yeah. Oh shoot, yeah. True. She makes a mean knife. True. True. That's the only one I can think of. See? No, there was a there was a woman I saw a video on. Kayla Cummings. She's making knives now. Oh, Kayla, that's yeah. right. She makes a lot of knives. She does. Um. Joe Parsons will cut your face off. <laughs> Actually, at Blade Show, that female made the, with the erotic uh, business card. She was like a knife maker. Erotic from business England. Cards? She had her her business cards were very. Erotica, yeah. let's just say. Like it would look like a boobies? Like a mulva. A mulva? <laughs> it sounds like a 
She had a Volvo? I'll do my sign for But yeah, her cars were very erotic. And uh, she made scissors and she made some fancy knives from England. Oh. Hmm. And okay. she, she had some cool knives. Cool. More like artsy knives. It's kind of weird hanging out your vagina to everybody, though. That's what the, <laughs> that's what the card was. It was so cool. <laughs> Check out my business. Here's my lips. <laughs> Hey, we it, don't ca- edit that out. it catches your attention. No, we've said worse. It catches your attention. They know me already. He said lips. He said lips. You're out. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. How about beads? I'm getting into beads. I'm not. Yeah, but yeah. I am. I think for this certain it's knives, it's as big as the knife. I think for certain knives, they, they serve a purpose, like for, the, for that knife. Yeah. Um, Special. Yours is more, probably more decorative. Yeah. Yeah. True. I have. I don't even like lanyards, but I keep mine on my blunt. I just have it on my fixed cables. blunt. Yeah. Are you holding out knives, Mike? No, but I brought this specifically for the. Oh, did that. Never mind. Is that a Grayman? Here's a bead. Yeah, that's a Grayman. This is a bullshit. That's a Christensen but, bead. Yeah. No. No. This is key bar. I showed this before. I thought Christensen made that. Yeah, Matt did the turd. That's not a bead, that's a backspacer. <laughs> yeah. This is a bead. You, oh, that's <laughs> you, 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 you called this a turtle, Mike, turtling, that's, you that's bastard. Totally, it's totally turtling. But yeah, we're talking about beads, so here's, here's uh, Keybar's bead. So. That's neat. I like it. But I'm not and this was actually a uh, Sebenza bead, I just threw it on this. It came with uh, my Tonto. Tonto. Sebenza. Oh. Oh. It's a bench 21 Tonto shape, yeah. So I'm, in, the I'm into it. Yeah. The Lone Ranger. This is a long one, dude. I'm sweating. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just about out. There's, there's no, that one, one question that came up. Left. One came up on the Weenus and Steel uh, IG. They wanted uh, us to talk about like uh, lesser known knife makers, which I think we pretty much cover on Weenus and Steel on the regular anyway. Yeah. You know? I mean, you know, anyone that's. Well, oh, yeah. You were, supposed, you were supposed to remind me to say something. I, I haven't forgotten. Oh. Right <laughs> what, like newer knife makers? Newer, lesser known knife makers, up and coming knife makers. We have a few guys that want to send us, I told you, they want to send us their knives to check out. Well, you got Darby up in Canada. Who's Darby? Knife and Forge. Knife and Forge, yes. Knife and Forge. You got uh, Diggs, Diggs Knives and Fossils. And fossils. He's he, a newer knife maker that people don't know much about. He's up from Jersey, too. It's the South Jersey. He does mostly fixed blades, I think. I've been following him for a while now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's got got a YouTube channel. He's a friend of mine's friend. Wow, that's complicated. No, the old... uh, No, the guy that used to... That's like the... uh, What is it? (laughs) Separation of Kevin Bacon or whatever? Eight degrees. Eight degrees. (laughs) Six degrees, guys. Six (laughs) degrees. You can't look as much like Kevin Bacon as me. (laughs) Or... Um, I man, I forgot what else I was gonna say. You know, when I first came in, I thought you were oh, Barry. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no. You met Barry? You met I'm Barry. Teasing him. Oh, wow, that's not teasing. That's slapping him in the face. Poor <laughs> 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 B man. Um, um, Where's Barry been? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, so we, we, we definitely support uh, all knife makers, new knife makers, established knife makers. Uh, we do have in the future a few guys that want to send us their, their new knives that they want us to check out. Um, and just, uh, we just want to let you guys know, um, if you want us to send, if you want the Weenus of Steel to do a vid on your knife, we'll definitely do a vid. Uh, we don't want it. We're not going to keep it. We'll do a review on it. We'll send it back to you. Uh, and if you want to contact us to do anything like this, you can reach any of us on Instagram. There's yeah. nobody out there that speaks for us. So if anybody actually says that they know us and that they'll send it, you, they will be like the middleman for us. And you can except for good climbing. Except for Bob. <laughs> That's the one exception. But it's anybody out there. They're perpetrating themselves as affiliated with us. They're not. If you want to talk to us, just talk to Fruchi, Fast Bandit, Terra Fanatic, or Menevate. And the best way to get it is probably on Instagram. Send us a direct message. Anyone else perpetrating to know us, we don't know them. They're not part of us. They're not a wiener. You know who the honorary wieners are. Those who know who know us know better. Right, so uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just putting that out there so you guys know. The true uh, wieners. The true uh, wieners. Yeah. 
So, you know, we, we do this to support the knife community. We do this for fun. We have guests here for fun. Uh, we're learning just like you guys are learning, and we're learning from people that are, are definitely uh, more knowledgeable than us. So. And the perks are amazing. They'll pay for you to come out here. <laughs> oh, I should have said that. <laughs> Sorry. Any. We didn't bring enough. And anybody can join us. Anybody. You guys on Instagram, on YouTube, if you're in the tri state area, let us know. You can come down, bring your toys. And we're not snobs. You can bring anything. We don't care. We'll check everything out. I like this monogram on the bottom of the. Uh, yeah, the, is that uh, nice? Sure. On the hatcher? What's it say? A E B L? Yep. yep. That's the steel. steel. Um, what a nice guy, too. E -E -B that wasn't a question, was it? Like, Gosh. about the makers. What is the so I think we all Rosewood? agree that you gotta like the maker. Yeah. Well, Bob, it's some kind of wood. What kind of wood is that again? Arizona sandalwood? What is that? It's, uh... Looks like sandalwood. No, nah, it's... Hold on. Sure. Cocoa bowl? Nah. Yeah, it's, it's a like bowl that. of something, yeah. It's a bowl yeah. of something. Hold on. <laughs> bowl of Gumboa. cereal. Gamboa, gum, like yeah. gumbo. Yeah, yeah. G A M B O A. Gambo. Gumbo. Gumbo. Two different kinds of carbon fiber. Tastes good too, lick it. <laughs> lick it. <laughs> Tastes good too, lick it. <laughs> You've never heard that before. <laughs> one of my old pickup lines. Uh, <laughs> Why don't you tell us one of the pickup lines you just learned, Lee? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, what was that one? That was a funny one. I'm I sure you'll come up with it. Barry? Oh, yes, yes. My penis just died. Can I bury it in you? <laughs> <laughs> the best line ever. I don't get it. Hello, man. <laughs> oh. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, all right. I'm going to call it. I think that's a long episode. Let's see where we're at. That is. That's an hour. Oh my Whoa. god! Whoa. Hour thirty-five. What an honor! Wow! What that's an like honor! Three uploads. That's like yeah. Thank you for coming. We're Thank we're, you for having thanks, me. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Bob, for coming down. We're Thank definitely making up for a lost time because uh, we haven't been on for a while. So, so from Rutz Hut, Weenus and Steel, uh, Bob, good climbing has joined us. We are out. Bam.